Good morning, ladies and germs, and welcome to a blustery construction next door morning here in Southern California, and welcome to another MC Commute. Today's ride, yet again, is brought to you by Senna, makers of Bluetooth headsets, including the new 30K with mesh technology. With the Bluetooth headset, you can talk to your buddies, you can get directions, you can listen to music or podcasts. You can also support MC Commute, which is what Senna does. So if you're in the market for a Bluetooth headset, please go to Senna.com or click on the link in the description of this video. Our guest today, it's Yamaha's XSR 700. Little retro cool looking little bike. Uh, it's based on the MT-07, formerly known as the FZ-07 here in America. I can see European smirks from here, believe me. Anyway, fun little bike. We're gonna talk about all this stuff uh, on the way to the office right now. So I hope you're ready, because I'm ready, and we're going. All right. Okie dokie. XSR 700. So you got your uh, you got your MT-07 under there, the um, 689cc parallel twin, um, and the big you know noticeable stuff. Obviously, this uh, round headlight quite round, I think we can agree. Um, same basic uh, chassis though, so tube frame, which in some of the uh, MT models is contrast, which I think is kind of cool. This one blends in. I probably would have made the radiator black, right? But that's just, that's just me, that's just me. Um, just like the other XSR circles are the theme, you got circles here, you got a circle here. Um, and you got these nifty Pirelli Phantom retro looking tires, which I think are actually pretty cool. We got a much taller seat. We'll talk about that. Uh, what else? I guess that's just about it. I have some upgrades to the, uh, updates, I should say, to the suspension. Um, but yeah, I think we're just about ready to ride. These freaking blinkers, which, come on, Yamaha. Can we get some LEDs in the house? All right. Let's fire this bad Nelly up. Oh. Sounds like a gentle little fella, doesn't it? But it has a dark secret, <laughs> I think we'll find. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, XSR 700. Um, got that parallel twin in there, like I said, 270 crank. Um, so they call it cross-plane concept, is what uh, Yamaha will call it, as is their right, I suppose. Um, but you know, the R1 engine is a cross-plane, and that engine's pretty special because um, of the uneven firing order. This also has technically sort of an uneven firing order, but it's just not quite as special because um, Triumph Bonnevilles have a 270 crank, and the Tenere has a 270 crank, and the Africa Twin has a 270 crank. So it's a little bit more prevalent, this style of engine. But you get that sort of thumping exhaust note, um, and you get a torque uh, curve that kind of feels a little bit more like a V-twin, sounds a little bit more like a V-twin. Um, sounds much better, in my opinion. And that's the little, uh, little fella that sends this guy down the road. Um, one of the, my favorite things about the 270 crank parallel twin is when you put a pipe on it, it sounds wicked. I did a little walk around video of an FZ07R race bike that I rode a couple years ago. Uh, and I fired it up and revved it up and it sounds so wicked. And granted that engine's breathed on, but um, I put a little card up here in the uh, top of the video. You can click on it if you want to and listen to what an FZ07 sounds like with a pipe on it. Anyhow, the uh, updates to the suspension, 7% uh, stiffer fork, I believe. And actually the 7% stiffer fork is also on the 2018 MT-07. Um, so they stiffened up the a little bit. Shock is 11% stiffer, I think. Uh, anyway, whatever. A little bit stiffer suspension, kind of like Yamaha did with the uh, XSR 900 uh, that came out a couple years ago there. The seat is also taller on this bike than it is on the MT-07 or FZ-07. Uh, again, like they did with the uh, XSR 900. So this seat is 32.9 inches instead of 31.7, I believe. So yeah, a little bit taller seat. Um, and honestly, it's not especially noticeable. Um, it's still, it's. I mean, the FZ07 is a really, really easy bike to swing a leg over. And this one is 
not as easy, but it's still super uh, approachable, which is nice. And then the handlebar, um, which makes the riding triangle a little bit more upright. It's also much wider. It's almost three inches wider, I think. Um, the FZ07 one is like sort of tighter, closer together there. Um, Woohoo! <laughs> it is. Find a little wheelie. Hopefully, we'll get to do more of that later. The riding position is more upright, seats a little taller. And I bring that stuff up because I talked about it a fair amount when I did the XSR 900 MC Commute, which was one of my first ones actually. To me, the XSR 900 was a huge improvement in riding position over the FZ09. The FZ09 is not bad, it's just, it's, it's unique. It's uh, interesting. Uh, you sit really close to the handlebar and you're pretty upright and the pegs are really low. Whereas the XSR 900 made a much more standard naked bike riding position with the seat back a little bit and you lean forward a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I thought the XSR 900 was actually a, a marked improvement um, in riding position if that's, your, uh, if that's your thing. For the FZ07, I think, <laughs> uh, what a fun little bike. Why would you do wheelies like that? Why? Just because you can, I guess. Anyway, sorry. The FZ07 riding position, uh, MT07 riding position, is a little bit more balanced and a little bit better to begin with, I think. So this bike, I'm not as enthused by, frankly. Um, I, 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 I would put a lower bar on it. I would lean forward a little bit, uh, make it a little bit racier riding position. You, what, what with the stiffer suspension and, uh, uh, and the wind blast on the highway, which I will complain about in a minute, I'm sure. Go, crap! <laughs> it's so lively. It's a really, really fun engine to use. The FZ07 MT07 is one of my favorite current models in the entire world. I recommend it constantly. It's such a good motorcycle. It's so much fun. It's so easy to ride. It's really just terrific. So the XSR700 really kind of had a had a leg up to begin with because the FZMT is just a stellar little bike. It's interesting that they said the suspension is five or ten percent stiffer because it feels pretty soft still. I guess that they're probably expecting plenty of uh, 140, 150 pound people to ride this bike maybe last even um, and I'm probably 200 pounds or more with gear on. I suppose the suspension could have something to do with the uh, a little bit of added weight too. I think this bike's five or 10 pounds heavier than um, an FZ MT, which the last time we weighed an FZ07, it was 400 pounds on the nose with a full tank of gas with a full 3.7 gallons. Uh, and they claim 410 for this bike. So uh, I figure it'll be probably about 10 pounds heavier than the other bike. But that ain't no thing really, FZ07, such a light small bike so adding a little bit of weight no big deal this is a very long traffic light so we can talk about the dash see a dash there pretty good looking dash fuel gauge speedo trips uh, gear position indicator at the top there which is a nice feature in my opinion uh, and then yeah the tack that goes a little tack that goes around the outside um, which is kind of cool I guess uh, it's simple does the trick, no complaints. Uh, yeah, and brakes. She's got uh, 282 millimeter rotors and uh, Advix calipers. Uh, the brakes are not special and they don't have a ton of feel. ABS is standard and you cannot turn it off. Um, but they do the trick and I'm happy to see a bike of this size have dual discs at least. Um, so if there's enough power on tap, even if it's not a uh, super high performance braking system. Holy Hannah, this is a long traffic light. At least it's not 100 degrees like it is in the summer. <clears throat> uh, anyhow, the reason that you buy an MT-07 or an FZ-07 uh, or an FZ-09 or whatever is the engine. Because this engine is superb. It's so good, it's so much fun. I mean, an entry level, small, 300 and something pound bike and I just hoiked a wheelie away from a stoplight for no good reason. How much fun is that? It's so awesome. <laughs> like, look at it go. <laughs> what a little psychopath. Uh, 
it's really, really fun. The bike wants to have fun. And whether you're doing wheelies or not, it's a good time. Wrap. <laughs> All right, the Lexus R, let's get on the freeway. Away we go. So yeah, this is my least favorite part of this XSR 700 is being on the freeway. And now we're uh, stuck in a little bit of traffic here going 50 miles an hour instead of 70. Um, but the wind blast is a little bit, I don't know, it's, it's, it feels like it's harder to deal with than it is on the, on the FZ. I know it sounds weird, but the seat, scooting the seat back a little bit makes the pegs feel like they're kind of far forward for me. And the, and the handlebars are set back a little ways. So yeah, like I said, I just wish it was a little bit racier. But uh, even if the uh, you know sort of low handlebar kit becomes super popular on the FZ07, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Or I mean, uh, XSR700. That is the other thing I'd probably do with an XSR700 or uh, an MT FZ07, whatever. Uh, I would gear it up a little bit. Hey there, bro! Ooh, tail bag on the cruiser. Respect. Split lanes at 70 miles an hour doesn't really seem necessary. But you do you, my man. Anyway, uh, another update I would probably do if I owned this bike or the, the base MTFZ is um, go maybe one or two teeth smaller on the rear sprocket or maybe even a tooth bigger on the on the counter shaft sprocket just to gear it up a little bit. It just makes so much torque. I needed a wheelie in third gear. So, heck, gear it up a little bit and let it wheelie in first and second gear and then uh, probably get a little better mileage on the freeway and uh, let it lope along a little bit. I don't know, just throwing it out there. That's what I always say, right? That's what you're thinking. That's what you always say, Zach. Well, yeah, creature habit, I suppose. I like some nice tall gearing, what can I say? I'll tell you what upgrade I also expect a lot of is these blinkers. <laughs> I know I already threw shade on the blinkers, but I can see them from here. And they're just like, they're so floppy and they're so big and they're so orange. I don't know. This is the same blinkers that Yamaha's been using for years. and. There's nothing like actually wrong with them. I just feel like considering Yamaha kind of has been knocking it out of the park with their actual motorcycles. It's like, man, give us some blinkers that aren't so owed. <clears throat> okay, we'll test the uh, roll-on power of the XSR 700 right now. Fourth gear, 40 miles an hour. Pull it onto the freeway, open the throttle. Look at that, going 70. Yeah, this bike is good. The engine's great. The engine is so good. I don't know. I know, you, I, maybe you're sick of hearing me talk about how great the engine is already. If that's the case, I apologize, but it really just, it bears repeating over and over again. Buenos dias, Irvine. Look at you with your beige buildings and your lot ready for new construction of more beige buildings, I assume. Crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a crazy little bike. <sighs> it does not have wheelie control, by the way. You gotta do that yourself. All right, what have we not talked about on the old XSR 700 for 2018? I don't know. I feel like we've had a pretty, pretty comprehensive uh, rundown of this sucker. We could talk about price, and actually, I wanted to talk about price sooner than usual anyway because uh, it's eighty-four ninety-nine, the uh, XSR seven hundred, so eighty-five hundred bucks. Let's call it, um, and that's not a bad deal, right? Can we agree? That's not too bad. Eighty-five hundred bucks for a, a, you know, stylized, excellent little. Uh, motorcycle that you can do flipping anything with um, but the problem is I think uh, that for 500 more dollars you get an FZ09 doesn't that like I don't know doesn't that like sting a little bit and this is the whole problem right this is like we're creating a model line of motorcycles you have to be careful to not to create too many that are too similar this whole like problem that Porsche had years ago with the Boxster, right? Like, you make the Boxster too good, people aren't going to buy a 911. And I feel like this is the situation with the uh, FZ07 and, and FZ09. 
Um, to be fair, you gotta pay more to get an XSR 900, which would be the comparable FZ09, sorry, MT09. I gotta get used to that. I guess I just feel like I would be in a tight spot. And I just don't know if I would buy an XSR 700. I don't, I'm not in love with the look enough. I think that the FZ07 is a, sorry, MT07 Chivas is a cool looking little bike. And uh, you save 900 bucks if you get an MT07 instead of an XSR 700, which is, no, oh, nothing to sneeze at, right? All right, let's try to back it in. I don't think we'll really be able to, but we'll try. <laughs> it's, it did not like that. Didn't like it one bit. Crap. Loves wheelies, though. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, my God. What a crazy little bike. Why are you so crazy, little bike? Let's try again. There we go. With the DIY slipper clutch, then I managed it. So yeah, I think I would struggle to buy an, an XSR 700, not because it's not a cool little bike, just because you can get other stuff. <laughs> you can get other stuff in the Yamaha family that's just as cool looking, uh, or the same price for more horsepower. I don't know. I don't know. I would just I would struggle a little bit. I'm taking you guys through my struggle here. You could also buy an SV650. Um, which is not a bad little bike at all. And uh, the standard SV650 uh, sort of combines the MT-07 XSR700 aesthetic a little bit. It's got the round headlight, but it's sort of like modern. I don't know, just throwing it out there. When it comes to a little naked bike like this, I honestly, like I said, I wouldn't recommend anything other than an SV07. It's a such a terrific MT-07, shit. Anyway, whatever. The 07, you know what I mean. Okay. Look at it, I mean, it's handsome. It's handsome. And it kind of like looks bigger than a, than a 650 or, you know, 700, whatever. It's cool, it's a cool looking bike. And it's great. just needs a pipe <laughs> but it's a terrific platform jokes aside the uh, the MT07 FZ07 whatever you want to call it XSR 700 is just another version of what's really a terrific motorcycle yeah that you can do anything with you can make it into a retro who's my what's it uh, you can take it around the world if you want to and if you don't believe me, uh, I'll drop another card in here for uh, our contributor, Tiff. She rode an FZ07 all over the world, all around the lower 48. She went to frickin' Alaska and Central America. It's an awesome story. So click on it if you want to. Okay, I guess that's just about it with the XSR700. I hope I answered all the questions that you have. If I didn't, leave a comment uh, to see a dyno curve of this uh, 689cc parallel twin with a 270 crank then I left a link and uh, there's a link or two in there for our lovely sponsors so hope that's good guys thanks again for riding along and yeah see you soon